Welcome to this week's Thursday Train. So, let's get right to it. We are officially in the RV, and uh, I'm going to have some some clumsy times in the next few few episodes um, of trying to figure out my stuff. So, uh, so we're going to play some games with geomet geometric shapes, a uh, little bit of new marks I'll put on there, and I'm just going for color and pattern, and my colors. So for my red, I'm going to be using uh, permanent violet red by Amsterdam. This is permanent blue violet by Amsterdam. For my yellow, this is going to be Azul Gold by Golden. I'm going to have, when I finally get everything taken care of, I'm going to let it dry. And then I'm going to put a coat of, I believe that's Oxide Black. So, those are my colors. Uh, I'm going to keep it nice and simple. Four colors is the most I've ever done with a with a pole. Uh, I'm going to be pulling with some. This is tea bag paper, and it's very thin. I can show it to you. Very thin. It's not a very thick paper at all, and uh, but it has it has uh, good weft strengths with it. So. <sighs> Let's get started. I'm going to shut up. I'm going to play some games. Maybe come back and explain some of the things I'm doing. So, here we go. This is rubbing alcohol. It's actually what I use for my alcohol hanks. It gets a different pattern as it spreads out. It'll just pull up that color a little sooner than the others. I add just a little bit of bronze on here. Um, I hope y'all can hear me. I'm talking kind of soft, but uh, add just a little bronze on there and maybe a little bit more of that gold white. It'll break it up nicely. Okay, I moved some things out of the way. I'm moving on back over to my um, to my main gel print. And basically what I want to do with this is I'm going to put some black over the top of it. That's just to give it some support and allow me to transfer nicely. Um, usually I would let this dry a good 20, 25 minutes, make sure that to the touch it was dry. And I'm still coming up with a little bit of paint. So I'm debating whether I should do this next step yet until it has dried, but 
uh, I think because for the sake of time and to be able to get this up for Thursday, we're going to uh, we're going to go forward. But I think while well, I'll let this dry just a second, this is this has been Thursday train, and up after me is going to be just Janice, uh, followed by Art or Julie E. So stick around and uh, let's uh, support the the rest of us and uh, and. I'll get this started, get this done. We'll get this up on the, get this up on the web. This is the first of my time in the, in the, in the RV. So, um, it's uh, <laughs> a little clumsy. So, but we'll be fine. And this will get smoother as time goes on. So let's get this started. We'll get it pulled and I'll show you the final product. It's a pretty nice pull. Um, now, my intention was to have this here, but obviously, as you can tell, I got myself a little ahead of myself, and that should have been down on my big plate. That's okay. You know, honestly, it's all what it's about is experimentation. So I'm going to play more some, some more games with this and see if I can get more, uh, more of what I was looking for. So I guess... Um, for today, I think we're going to call this one good. Uh, what I'll end up doing with this, because this is not really frameable at this point, sometimes you get a nice pull, but you can see I've got some nice, nice shine behind it with the uh, with the bronze and the gold, and the color palette for the, even with the black in there, uh, really kind of work together with this with this pull. Um, now I will do probably with these is they'll be used for collage work and it gives me texture and gives me things to work with that's what i got today uh i got just say like i said i will be continuing to uh, develop and get better at this uh, this whole process so uh stick around and that's it for me today again stick around for just finish yes and we'll uh, we'll see you next week bye for now <laughs>